no, no, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Take a seat. Okay. Lay it on me. Okay, so uh, last week, last Tuesday, my mate Eric calls me up and he's telling me how his uncle just bought a new car and gave him his old one. And I thought that seemed pretty legit because his uncle's always just handing him stuff. And so he's, he's on the phone with me and he's begging me. He's saying, oh, Tommy, just come check out the car quickly, Tommy. Oh, don't dog it this time, Tommy. I thought you were a real friend, Tommy. And I was like, okay, okay, I'll come. Just, just chill, man. Now see, right then, that's when I would have known something was up. Yeah, but you know me. I just, I'm, too, I'm too nice sometimes. And so oh, I got there and in the first 20 minutes, he's already telling me how he wants me to take his new car on a joyride. He needs milk, he's telling me. He's telling me to go in his car and get some milk. And I'm thinking maybe his mum's listening in the other room or something. And he's just, uh, he's just coming up with a ploy to get me to check out his car. And, and I'm cool with that. I'm fine. Like anything to get out of the house at this point, you know. I take the car for a ride. I get the milk. I'm walking back to the car. The cop's already there. It's over. <laughs> get my head, they put it on the bonnet, and my hands are in cuffs behind my back. Officer, I haven't done, I've not done anything. Can I please ask what, why are you arresting? Ow! I didn't know what was going on at all. I was, I was freaking out. It turns out Eric stole the car. No, no surprise. He actually planned to frame me. So I get this crazy fine and I have to stay in the police station overnight and now I'm facing charges for grand theft order. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, they want $20,000 and jail time. What? It was a Mercedes. E <laughs> Tommy! He said he's, uh, his uncle's rich. I thought he, I just said that. I told him. Well, what are you gonna do? That's why I brought you here, so we can meet Paul McMillan. Who's Paul McMillan? He's a defense attorney. He comes to this cafe every single Saturday morning. I looked it up. They, they even call him uh, McMillan Dollar Paul. <laughs> why? Because he takes on cases like for people who can't necessarily afford it. <laughs> Ironic. Why? Well, because he takes on cases for cheap people, right? But then his nickname sounds... That's him. I I'm pretty positive that's him. Well, how does he make his money? He usually charges thousands, but every so often he takes on a case just because he knows the person is innocent. Okay, well, go talk to him then. We can use the case next week, and then after that we also... when they have more confidence. Even if you don't have confidence, still say something, right? I just don't have the confidence to. I just don't have the confidence. Oh, well, he's, look at him, he's eating right now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Not while him. he's busy, he's just about to eat. Who cares, just do it. You only have one. Shot him in the foot. And now he's testifying doesn't even know the guy. How am I supposed to defend that? You gotta give me something to work with. Just. Give him something to work with. So what kind of cases can I get you, Paul? Anything. I haven't had a solid case in weeks. Paul, we've made more money in this last month than we have in the last two months combined. Check this out. You, we, need to focus on cases to win. That means finding someone who's actually innocent. But they just don't pay well. Well, not getting high doesn't pay well either. Okay, fine. So we'll just take in the next guy that comes in through the slums and throws his hands up and claims to be innocent. You know what? I'm innocent. I'm just gonna do it. Wow, you're a genius. <sighs> oh, not again. Hi, Paul. Um, my name's Tommy and I really need your help. I know you're a defense attorney and um, you take on the kind of cases like my case. Wait, wait, wait. What, what sort of case are you talking about? Look. Tommy, Paul's a very busy man. He just doesn't have time to be taking on any case for anyone who just cries out for help. I got framed for stealing a Mercedes and I'm being falsely charged for $20,000 and jail time. And I, I didn't do anything. I didn't, I've never stolen anything in my life and I can prove that I'm innocent. Okay, so if you can present your evidence to us, we can look at the case even further. I don't, I didn't bring anything today. Oh, you don't have any evidence. Paul, come on, let's go. No, no, Paul. Please, no, please. Come on, Paul, please. Just, just wait. Your tips on the table. I don't even work here. And how did 
it go. So that was Confidence, our short film that we just posted. So I hope you liked it. He directed it. He acted in it. Yeah, that's me. Did I write it or did you write it? Uh, you wrote that one. No, I think you wrote it. Here's the thing. We like making short films. We want to keep making more. And we want to see if you can help us keep making short films. You actually can help us make short films. There's this thing called Patreon. It's a website where people like you, the fans of our films, can actually help us in making our films. So the cool thing is there's a bunch of benefits and like exclusive content you can get by donating and helping out. And we get to keep making short films for you. So if you're interested, go check out Patreon. Other than that, you can keep watching short films. Click right here and um, the next short film will play. So enjoy and get some popcorn and uh, binge watch these.